What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's Poppy J and welcome to This is the Police! This is a new series that we're gonna try here on the channel. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So I'm finally getting around to doing it. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's kind of a resource management game in a way, and it's also a story-based game as well, so it's like a it's a bit of a mix of the two. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get into it. Day one. July 15th, Monday. Mayor Rogers, sex maniac. F fuck are you doing, Mayor? Mark War 2 to be shown. In Freeburg, the day before the worldwide premiere. By the Mayor's personal request. City Hall confirms rumours of Jack Boyd's resignation. Jack Boyd. This reminds me... Shit car. Just saying. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like the noir kind of stuff as well, which I'm a big fan of. So that's that's another reason I wanted to. When I was a kid, my father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Good advice. Yesterday I turned 60. Yes. But I still take his and advice. And Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. Fair enough. To get away from all the demons that haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Welcome Plus, to Freeburg. Plus, it's a Freeburg. good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least that's what my colleagues say. God, They're he has afraid a good of press voice. The voice actor for this. But for me, it's more Ooh. like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. Fair the fact enough? that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. Okay. God, this is cool. I love the art style of this, to be quite honest. Okay. The fuck are we This is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's I'm true, losing my I'm job. mad as hell. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else. Though I damn sure do blame them. And don't even ask me what my next move is. I can't, can't imagine. imagine. But even that just doesn't kind of, scare me. I don't know, he strikes me as like this is, like old style I know I'm gonna have to do with something. a cigarette. And I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. I may have a lot of vices, but predictability isn't one of them. Oh, I don't want to be predictable now, do I? Hello! So this is a press conference. I learned a long time ago how to drive away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? Shutting my it's eyes. It's like a Dementor I trying can. to suck you. The best solution remains the same. That just sounds blind. weird. I just heard that. I just hope the reporters Dementor think I was blinded you. by the camera it's flash. Weird. And off, uh, weirdly sexual. A Dementor trying to suck you. Good morning. Am I meant to click? Oh, I am. Yesterday, the mayor's office officially announced your resignation. Did this come as a surprise, or did you know about it in advance? Um, the mayor discussed it with me. Mayor Rogers told me that he wants a fresh face running Freeburg PD, so no. It didn't come as a surprise. Do you already know the name of your successor? Uh, I think it'll be a department veteran. It will most likely be one of my current employees. After the recent corruption scandal, your deputy, Francis Kendrick, said he was looking forward to resigning. If the mayor offered him your position, would that change his mind? You know, I'd be happy if he took it. It's hard to say, but I, I can't think of a more deserving candidate than Captain Kendrick. Fair enough. Although Kendrick was acquitted, many still believe that the police are cooperating with the Mafia. Do you have anything to say about that? Uh, bullshit! Excuse me, but that's a pile of horse shit. The Mafia and the police working together? Maybe you're in cahoots with the aliens. 
The Mafia are a bunch of low-life criminals. How about someone ask a real question? You fucking sit down, George. You stupid question. Do you think your personal relationship with the mayor could be the reason behind your retirement? Um... Possibly. It's often difficult to say what uh, guides policy decisions. Thank you. That was an easy press conference. Bada bing, bada boom. How's the back today, Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference go? Yeah, you it went alright. about Emma. it in the newspapers tomorrow. Don't let anyone in. <laughs> Even Mr. Kendrick? Especially Mr. Kendrick. Yeah. Mr. Kendrick can go. <laughs> Not really. Ooh, pills? What am I, uh, what? Hmm. You a drug addict? Those legal pills. Are they illegal pills? What's going on here, Boyd? <sighs> See, cigar, I knew it. Fucking told you. As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. Hello! White summer shoes, white socks, Sporks white Hello, shorts, Mr. white Boyd, polo shirt, how are you? and the white smile of a hungry shark. Or no Mayor smile, Rogers enters every and room no like face. he owns the place. He's just that's Slender the floor in the making. Under his feet so I'm like they're this is what Slender was doing, and then he, he turned evil. He never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. That's about the only difference. Fair enough. Jack, I was hoping it's to catch you. Is that the same voice the actor? Conference. You, uh, you ran away so quick. Yeah, this is Slender before he There's went no psychotic and had a mental ball. break, and then he no was just like, I'm going to kill people. Around. Well, this morning I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon you won't be able to smoke here either. Oh, <laughs> soon enough I won't be here at all. <laughs> if that's what I wanted to talk to did you, you about. Did, did you the steal my picture? City, like you, Jack. Or did you fix it? The police chief of all people. <laughs> Don't, uh, don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. Sit nice Me? and quiet for the next 180 How days, and, uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. Next That's 180 the days. That you still have left. Be the hero. Then how am I supposed I am to scrape hero. together a the retirement serves, fund? But I'm the one you have right now. chances to secure a luxury pension. One that even I would have envied, although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. You know, this, uh... Hey! Where's my cigar? 180 well, days of quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I don't have any problems with you, and you won't have any problems with me. Hey, Rogers! I have a new assistant, Troy Starr. If you have something to tell me, call him. But try not to bother him. He's a he's a busy man. Oh, I'm gonna call him I'll every do single my day. Best. I will call him every single day, and quit every smoking every at the hour, office. with One an hourly friends update. We'll be using it soon. Oh, eat the biggest dick. Um. Oh. I'm sorry, babe. Okay. Only the mayor has this number. Mr. Mayor? Yeah, is this Troy Star? <laughs> yes. Go fuck yourself, <laughs> Troy Star. <laughs> or fuck someone else, you know? Whatever. What the fuck? <laughs> day two. All right. That was the easiest day ever. All right. Head of culture development owns villa in Italy. Good on him. Jack Boyd. Francis Kendrick is a decent man. Jack Boyd confirms police cooperation with the mob. No, it didn't. Oh, you... The facts. You can go and... Go and... Uh, eat... Uh, 
dick. I need to come up with a better catchphrase than that. I need to come up with a better line than just eat a dick. Cops oh, don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. Okay. There's some kind of stigma against sitting shoulder to shoulder with your partners. Everybody just takes snacks from Why? the machines or grabs a meal and hammers it down in the corner like a vulture on a corpse. The main thing? Don't look into anyone's eyes. <laughs> no one it has eyes in this game. They don't even have a face. To just sit together. The only people eating here are ghosts. Fair enough. Not really. My deputy, you wouldn't want to eat Francis with your partner. Kendrick, the person that you have to work with like twenty four seven. Ghosts, the subject of one of the most devastating corruption scandals in the history of Freeburg. Ah, no evidence God to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. I need that file I asked for. Needs to be ready tonight. Yeah. Francis didn't say anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. There's a very bad Besides, stigma Besides, I got a feeling he was guy. already what the, finished. What, who heard him? Who, what, what happened? Okay. Would you like to receive tips about how this game works? Mm, I'm a six-year-old police chief. A few months away from retirement. I don't need anyone telling me how to do my job. Yeah, I'm good. I know I basically I know the basic ideas of this is that you need to balance out your your officers and your detectives and um, you need to send them to jobs and everything. So I pretty much know how this goes. Roughly. I have a rough idea. I did I did a bit of research before this one because I wanted to learn the mechanics a little bit before I started. Well, fuck you putting that cigar on my city. What do we got? A hit and run. A married couple exited a convenience store and saw a van in the parking lot back over a homeless man who'd been digging through trash can. The driver jumped out to help, but once he saw that he'd hit a bum, he got back in the van and quickly drove away. I'm just gonna send, I'm gonna send Yancey and maybe Price on this one? Cause Price is, Price is shit. So star system is how you know they're rating. What we got? The last picture. Here we go. A fight. A theater manager reports that during a show of Citizen Kane, a drunk man attempted to force his way into the theater carrying a snowboard decorated with the word Rosebud. When he was denied entry, he violently attacked the cashier and is currently fighting with the theater's security guard. I'm just going to send Coach Koshi in there. Koshi? Kosh... Uh, fuck, fuck the fight now. Yeah, I think you can handle that. You should be able to handle that. All right, easy day so far. Easy day. Not not too much going on. It's raining. I can see clearly. Oh, hit and run. Did we get our man? Officer escaped. Oh, you pieces of shit. What? How, why'd you? Is it because of you, Price? Uh, yeah. All right. Fight report. Here we go. Offend the court, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Good on you! That's how you do it. That's how you take down a motherfucker. What we got? We got an armed robbery. Three teenagers armed with a, sh with a shotgun robbed a video store and made off with a whole collection of adult movies. The criminals fled in car, but store manager wrote down the license plate. The owner is one Janet Brown, who lives in the suburbs. Okay, well, we've got time on this. I'm going to wait for Yancey and uh, Kochi to come back. And then... A fight. A brother and sister clashed with each other. Uh, let's send... Asano and Austin to that one. And we'll wait for everybody to get back on this one. I'll send one, two, three on this. The three best people that I've got. Alright, let's do it. Oh, I can only send two. So I'll send... Uh, you and you. Alright, there we go. That should be good. We should be covered. Ghetto. A passerby saw some teenager attack, the, attack an elderly musician, then run away with his guitar and money. You fucking dodgy bastards. You go, Price. I don't trust you. I really don't. 
because Price, you are one dodgy fucker. Alright. Alright, here we go, the fight. Offend the court, officers unharmed. Awesome, good job. Good on you. Smaches. Oh, oh, the light's coming on. I was like, what the fuck is going on? But that's okay. Okay, oh, the armed robbery. The vehicle in question is parked right outside the Brown residence. The sun, the sounds of moaning and loud laughter can be heard. <laughs> they, they, they fucking took adult movies. Um, sneak into the house through an open window, knock on the door, open up, police, or turn on the siren and shout that the house is surrounded. Sneak in through an open window. Offender court, officers unharmed. Yes. Nicely done. That's how you take down a fucker. Assault. Offender court. Officers unharmed. Smooches all round. Is that it? Are we done? Are we done for today? Yeah. That's good. All right. We have to wait for. Uh, we have to wait for everybody to get back, and then I'll end the day. Cool. End the day. Nice. Uh, shift A. Oh, you guys. <whistles> got some got some high rollers and we got some fucking boy rollers here. Alright, end of day. Here we go. This is cool. This is really cool. used to be when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. I'm not staying Nowadays at the he doesn't office. have the strength for it. Slump shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past his few mustache weeks, looks like Stan Lee. I hardly recognize my <laughs> old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a Fair gallant royal officer in an old Kipling <laughs> story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Fair enough. Internal affairs enough. raided the library he inherited from his grandfather, hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. And did they? Heard about the look on his face. They didn't. A fearless policeman standing helpless and horror. So I'm guessing I didn't find anything. I've known Francis for 30 years. Wow. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. I and I know that at a certain point, every one. stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Probably sounds crazy, but I sympathize Aww, with the guy. Jack, you old What can softy. I do? Your friends are your friends. Yeah, that's true. These are the waters we swim in. Where you got? Called all of the people on that list today. Now they Good know on you. you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. Good on you, Kendrick. So what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious. Just like you It's asked. not. Uh, it sounds like he's doing a brain things. impression. Payments it's will nothing vary too serious, on the Mr. Situation Wayne. And who you're dealing with. How much are you looking to earn? Half a million. I'm looking Half to earn everything. Why not a whole million? Earns. Because everybody wants to take a million. <laughs> Figured I'd try something different. Yeah. Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Never okay. knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never I'm trying got to earn 500k. Bonuses, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Right. Sooner or later. They'll put the finger on you. Yeah. And, and one more thing, finger Jack. I remember what you said, but Just wait away. I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Who's Christopher Sand? Sand. Who's that? Christopher oh. G. Sand. Okay. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. Right. The old man stays away from the spotlight. Good on him. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted oh, there sweaters. He is. Okay. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social events. Seems like an alright dude. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. Oh. You'd never guess he's, he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Oh. Goes back as far as his great grandfather. Scum. Why are you Sand requesting I do business with a gangster? What's rules? wrong with you, Kendrick? He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. That's power. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, 
Even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Okay. Meanwhile, San pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes well, nothing mistake can get his quiet real, approach. Nothing can really get linked a back to A couple years him, ago, an it? arms dealer decided to expand its business without asking oh, permission. Jesus. Are those people hanging? His whole family paid the price. Holy shit! In four weeks, he Sam killed, killed 31 Christmas. people. Old the men, women, even a few teenagers. And Sand's people made sure every paper reported it. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Yeah, Jack. what the fuck? Please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. Exactly, I have morals. I'm like you, Kendrick. You dirty bastard. Alright. Francis Kendrick announces retirement date. Construction of cinema museum postponed again. Legendary singer. Uh, Gennaro Crespo? Comes to Freeburg. Jack, you need a better car, dude. Fucking hell, if it's taking that many tries every morning to fucking get it switched on, Jesus Christ. Birch didn't come into work today. Birch, what the? You look sad as fuck. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you have to um, talk. Uh, you have to talk them through. Um... <laughs> All right, uh, you have to. Either say yes or no to their scenarios for days off. Alright, uh, there was a fire at my daughter's school and my little girl was seriously burnt. She's in intensive care, can I go to her? Uh, Roy, you're shit. You're the shittest person, so yes. Oh, I can hand out stripes as well, yeah, yeah. I wanna give... I wanna give a stripe to... To this guy. And I want to give a... I'm going to give a stripe to my highest people and make them just a little little bit higher. I know I should probably bring all these guys up and put them on equal level. And I'll do that from now on after um, I've, I've done this. So these guys are basically on on the same level. He's the leader. Um, Stovall is the leader. Um, and then I'll try to bring these guys up. These last three. Maybe not Roy. I don't know whether I'm going to keep Roy. I might fire Roy. I don't know. But Birch Jr. and uh, Grant, I'll bring up as much as I can to equal equal them out as we go. All right. Enough talk. Let's... let's uh... Oh, choose a song. Let's go with... What's this? The piano, dude. Don't you leave me here. Oh, that sounds nice. What we got? Yeah. Nice and calm. Nice and calm. St. John's Cathedral. Vandalism. Received a fighting. Okay, I should probably. Okay. We received a. Okay, what's. Um... Man. The song's a little bit loud for my liking. So I'm going to. I'm going to bring it down. There we go. <sighs> That's nice. Alright. We received a frightening call from a local cathedral. This morning, the abbot discovered that someone's enter someone entered the old cemetery during the night. The old yard's tombstones are painted with satanic symbols, and some have been broken into pieces. What the fuck is wrong with people? Alright, let's send, uh, let's just send Vendal can, can go. He can go. That's all we need. Oh, labor. Oh, do I have spots open? Oh, that's cool. Alright, let's get Mr. Grizzly Bear here. Let's put him on shift. Shift A is alright. Um, what's shift B like? Shift B is lacking, isn't it? Yeah, Shift B is lacking some leadership, so you can go on Shift B and be the leader um, of my group. And I don't think I need anybody else at the moment. I don't need detectives, really, at the moment. Alright. Businessman, Harley Jones, 
looked out his window, saw two teenagers scratching offensive slogans on his car. Robbins and... Samadhi. Robbins and Samadhi, off you go. Be safe. What the fuck is affairs? Oh, is this like... This is like the shortcut. Okay. I get you, I get you, I get you. Alright, Van Dahl should almost be done. Here we go. Tell me you got him. Oh, there we go. Officer unharmed. Beautiful. You guys better get your target too. Eddie's Burgers. Hey, yo, I'm going down to Eddie's Burgers. Do you want some fries with that, man? Don't know what that was. I should probably never do that again. A waitress named Mila reports that she just served a chicken Eddie and a Diet Coke to a dangerous criminal. Criminal. Who she's seen on the television just this morning. The culprit is sitting in the window eating a burger. Let's send... Oh... Do I wait for Van Dahl to come back? Yeah, I'm going to. How much time do I have? 30 seconds. Okay, I'll wait for Van Dahl to come back and then I'll send both. Both of them. Off offend the court. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, let's uh, make sure that Van Dahl's back. And then um, I'll send both of them to catch this dangerous criminal. All right, now let's go. One and two. Off you go. Good. We're balancing everything out. What we got? Uh, Mr. Boyd. My bouncer uh, stuffed himself with Mexican food again and now... He can't get off the can meantime. The line outside the club is stretching around the back. We need someone outside who can tell the cool guys from the punks. Take Birch Jr. Fuck him. S send them someone that's like, meh. Or in this case, someone that's like, Because Birch Jr. You, you, I don't know. Look at those stars. You only got 20. 12, 10, 10. Right. Oh, it was a false alarm. You should be charged for that, as in money-wise, not not like handcuffed. Alright, what do we got? Drug sale. An anonymous call just came in. A clown carrying balloons is selling crack to teenagers. Alright, I'm going to wait for my best guys to get back for this one. I'm going to send um, Stavall and Robbins, I think. Fleeing Street. A naked man carrying a canister of gasoline has threatened to set himself on fire. Ooh. Well, that's not good. Um, I'll send Vandal and Samadhi on that one. And I'll send Starvo and Robbins on this one. Oh, here we go. Uh, sorry, Chief, but I quit. In one night, I... What the f... Uh, you... The fuck you, Birch Jr. Thanks for your help, Mr. Boyd, from... Okay. I'm good with that. Oh, now I have to replace Birch. I need to wait for my jobs to be done now. I need to wait for, um... Both of these jobs to be done, and then... We'll be... Here we go. The suicide threat. Offend the court, officers unharmed. That's what we like to see, boys. What do you guys got? Stavall? Robbins? As police arrive, a clown is seen making balloons for kids. Uh, cover up in a raincoat and pretend to be an illicit customer. Take the clown onto the ice and round up any witnesses. Carefully watch the, cr the clown from the stands. Uh, let's watch him for now. Send the court. That was easy. Let's close it up. End day. Alright. Nicely done. Except for you. Fuck you, Birch Jr. Piece of shit. Day four. July 18th. Uh, Robespierre to reveal his identity when the time is right. Enemies using feminists to destroy Freeburg. Feminist organization denied official registration. Alright. Well, I'm going to leave this first episode of Deuces the Police here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is like a fun little, fun little thing. It's going to be a very, you know, a couple of episodes. It's not going to be a long series, but it's, it's really cool. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Guys, helps me out a lot. There are links to my social medias in the description box down below. And as always, there's a link to the ProPJ merch store down below as well. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of This Is The Police. Please let me know. This is a this is a conversation after all. This is not just me doing what I want. This is a conversation between us, a mutual agreement. So you guys let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of this. And if you do, then we'll do some more. But until next time, I'm YouTube's Proper J and peace out. And come what may I'll be